organic learning. Hey guys, today we are going over all of these awesome fire trucks. Are you ready? Let's get started. This first one is a pumper fire truck. It has a water pump to help put up fires. This is a really cool looking one. It looks super professional. It's number 33. It looks like it's from the fire unit 11 from MBX County. I don't know where that is. Do you know? Maybe we'll have to do some internet sleuthing to find out. So it looks like this is where the water hoses are, and that must be where the water pump is. Look at all those nice gold designs. I like this one because it's a deep red. Oh, and there's the ladder. I mean, it's a gold ladder. That looks very fancy. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Our next one is the Fire Chief's SUV. Do you know how I know it's the Fire Chief's SUV? Oh, it says it right there. Let's see, it says emergency 911. This must be the seal of the fire department. Fire Chief. This is a Ford SUV. I'm not quite sure of the model, but it is an SUV nonetheless. Wow, they really like that seal in the fire department. It's on the sides, it's on the top of the car. And we know it's an American fire chief's car because it has an American flag on it. Yellow with red and white details. Very cool. This next one is a ladder truck. Can you guess why? Maybe because there's a ladder. Let's see, does this guy open? Whoa! So on this ladder truck, the ladder actually extends to a hundred feet long. Can you imagine? If you saw this in real life, it would be as tall as 10 stories. Have you ever seen a 10 story high building? That's how tall this ladder can reach. That's crazy, but also very cool. It says Hino right there. I don't know what that means. Let's see some doors. There must be supplies behind these silver doors in there. Hopefully, hopefully you never have to see one of these up close, but if you do, you know what it is. It's a ladder truck. Now this big boy is a hook and ladder truck. Now <laughs> we're gonna have to, let's see, it's from the San Luis, San Luis Obispo City Fire Department. Looks like it's a fire truck and a paramedic. Look at how big this is. What? Wow. <laughs> so it's mostly red and white. Let's see. This is... Oh, wow. Look at the cool chrome details in there. You can see the windshield wipers, the seats, the giant steering wheel. Looks like those doors could open. I wish they could. It would be so cool to see inside. Let's see, and here's the ladder. I wonder if that one extends too. Hard to tell. Wow. If you've ever been to Disneyland, there is a show there called The Hook and Ladder Company. And now I know why. Because of this. Also, this is where another driver would sit. So there are technically two drivers on this very long fire truck. So that means this one can go around a corner and this one can help steer it into a very tight space. I don't know that I've ever seen one of these up close, have you? Pretty lucky if you have. This is really fun. 
This next one is a brush fire truck. You see it has rugged wheels and it looks a little more heavy duty than the other trucks. So that means that this one can go on to some mountainous terrain or the desert. It says special brush unit. That's how you know it's for brush fires. So if you live in California or if you live in a desert area, you might see one of these guys when there's a wildfire, a wildfire that breaks out. Um, it carries water on board um, because usually there isn't a place to hook up um, a hose to get water when you're in the desert or off the beaten path, as they say. Oh, look, there's some chrome seats in there and look at the little steering wheel. I don't know where County RSQ is, but I hope to find out. This is Fire District, Unit 3. You can see the supply cabinets back there. This is a nice, like, light yellow color. Not as bright as a school bus, but really noticeable nonetheless. Oh, and there's, that's where, you know, the siren lights would be, so that people know to get out of the way. Very cool. Okay. Our next to last one is a hazmat team fire truck. So that means that it deals with dangerous chemicals in liquids like oil, um, things that might explode. It means that it can contain these, either contain them, uh, clean them up, put them away properly. You want the right professionals to do that kind of a job. See, there's a ladder. Does this open? It looks like it opens, but I don't think it does. It's red and white. It says 85 right there. Metro Township. You can't see as well into it as the other ones. But there are the sirens, or the lights for the sirens. Radio dispatched. Okay. I guess that's where they would talk to headquarters, check into headquarters, right there. I wonder how big this would be in real life. Wow. Very cool. Hazmat team. Okay, this last one actually comes to us from Japan. It's bright red. It's very shiny. It says Cantor on the front. And if you don't know, that symbol right there is a Mitsubishi symbol. Another way you can tell that it's Japanese. And this is a fan. So a mobile ventilation unit is used by firefighters when they need to clear smoke out of a building. So this bad boy backs up And then it turns on this really intense, heavy-duty industrial fan, and it blows all of the smoke out of the buildings so that the firefighters can get a clear look inside to see if there are any um, extra fires that have to be put out. I've never seen one of these up close, have you? I didn't even know this was a thing, but now I can't wait to see one up close. I can only imagine how powerful this fan is. And then you have the siren lights up top. Wow, maybe this one might be my favorite. Okay, gotta go. We hope you had fun going over all of these awesome fire trucks. Bye bye, see you next time. If you liked our video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.
and leave a comment below.